All right, let's talk about the Boys and Girls Club of Greater San Diego. What a wonderful organization, really um, inclusive of all of our youth. And this year they are celebrating 75 years by putting out this book. It's called Against the Grain. We have um, one of the authors of the book, Ed Fletcher, is here. Michelle Malin, the Vice President of De Development for the Boys and Girls Club. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so Ed, I want to start with you. Um, you're a native San Diegan. You are a Boys and Gl uh, Girls Club member. I was a charter member of you, the Boys and Girls Club. Tell me what it means to you to be a part of that. It, it means a lot to think that uh, here's a club where th there are activities after school where boys and girls can go and uh, and be busy and um, uh, there were not as many dangers back when I was a member as there are now sure. and and so boys and girls today can uh, go after school they can study uh, they can uh, they can do all kinds of things that keep them out of trouble and keep them moving in the right track well I see obviously from your pin you are a marine yes ma'am so what did this experience at the boys and girls club do for you in shaping your future to become a Marine? Well, I did a lot. Uh, I can recall that uh, uh, I would go to the club every day after school and uh, I participated in the athletic teams mm -hmm. and I think that that's one of the reasons why I joined the Marine Corps. The, uh, I was playing football at San Diego State and the uh, I was about to be drafted, so I joined the Marine Corps. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, my experiences at the club really helped me to become a good Marine and to become a good citizen. And a, a productive adult, I yes, would imagine. absolutely. Um, so, Michelle, let's talk about 75 years. Because, yes. you know, my, I was just t telling you, I, I grew up at the Boys and Girls Club as well. My brother played basketball there. We would be there all the time. So, you know, now it's more inclusive for girls as well. Right. Yes, when it's <laughs> started it was a boys club sure and it was boys clubs uh, till about the 80s we mm -hmm. they discovered girls and let girls <laughs> amazing <laughs> girls are need a place to go to and <laughs> officially changed the name yes. uh, to boys and girls clubs and we've just sort of grown from there but over the 75 years of our history we've served hundreds of thousands of kids have come through our doors sure. and turned into productive responsible caring citizens I want to talk about the book a little bit it is a beautiful book I mean it, color pictures and and interesting clippings from back in the day. Tell me, what's what's gonna, what do you plan to do about, with this book? Well, we wrote this book because we really wanted to get the story out there, how we came to be. Mm -hmm. It's a great story about how a group of, of San Diegans wanted to create this place and had the vision that it would grow beyond just one clubhouse. Mm -hmm. And we are putting these in all the libraries of the middle schools and high schools throughout the county because we want to get the word out there about our history history and what the club has meant and what these people meant to Sa the history of San Diego by creating the, the Boys Club and now the Boys and Girls Club. Boys and Girls Club. Okay, and so now for Ed, for you, when you look back, now as a charter member of, <laughs> uh, of the Boys and Girls Club of San Diego, um, what do you look at now when you see the youth there? today I, I think I, I look at the uh, the potential for uh, children to learn and to uh, be able to uh, progress and mm -hmm. to become really uh, functioning uh, citizens of the world yeah and you know and I will say as my knowledge of the Boys and Girls Club as well I mean there it's just a really great place for kids to not only learn and compete and play sports but also um, to, to to have a community of their own, a community that they can rely on that's outside yes. of the family structure. Right. Yeah. Uh, these days, most parents are working, so yeah. there's nobody home mm -hmm. after school. So we say whenever school's out, clubs are in. Yeah. So if school gets out early, we're open early. When school is on break, we're open up to 11 hours a day during all the school breaks. <laughs> and so we're there when the kids need us. We have professional trained uh, staff who care about the kids. And that's really the meat
state of the club is the relationships that the kids develop with our caring staff. Well, it is a beautiful book with the beautiful pictures and the sweet picture on the back with all the little kids. Um, the, the book is available, right, for purchase, or it, or it will also be in all these libraries. Right, it'll be in these libraries. It's available online at sdyouth.org, uh, a digital copy of it. Um, yeah, so we just want to get the story out there. And Ed, real quick, it says here you're a retired educator, so after the Marines, you were a teacher? Well, prior, I was a teacher prior to going into the Marine okay. Corps. And uh, well, I was in the Marine Corps first, then I became a teacher, teacher. and I was in the reserve for oh. many, many years. Got it. All right. Yes. So obviously a very successful, wonderful life. Thank you for your time this morning. Thank, Thank you for you. coming Thank in. You. The book Against the Grain is going to be available. All right, a family business in La Jolla.